Welcome back to my channel. You are checking out Grilling and Chilling with Al. And it is a beautiful summer night out here in the PNW. Um, I am actually going to be making a cook. This is the first one I've done in two months. There's a reason behind that. I had a lot going on with family and taking care of people that we love that has been a priority. But um, I did have a chance to get one uh, cook done tonight. So I'm going to show you how I make beef and veggie stir fry on the Blackstone griddle. And before we get started, I do want to say a couple things. One, I want to give a huge shout out to a channel called The Griddle Guys. I want to say thank you to both Nate and Jeff and Chris for their kind words about my channel and all you new subscribers that signed up to check out what I do. So let's get started. I'm going to show you. I have everything already prepped. I'll leave everything in the description below. And this will be a quick and easy cook, but it's also going to be a good one because you can use it as leftovers throughout the week. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. Let's talk about the ingredients that we're going to use for tonight's cook. So for the vegetables, I just cut up some peppers, some uh, broccoli and onions. And I also added some baby corn. I love baby corn. So let's see if I can get, there you go. Yeah, I, everyone's seen how you cut up vegetables. Also is the sauce towards the end once we get everything cooked. And uh, like I said, I'll put the description down below for everybody and then the meat. So we're just using some prime cut or prime grade top sirloin steak um, and uh, just did a quick uh, marinade with some soy sauce, some cornstarch, a little bit of um, one tablespoon of uh, minced garlic and I also added a little bit of ginger to it as well. So and that's it folks that's the whole entire ingredients so we're going to get started with a cook real soon. Hey, before I get going on the vegetables and the cook, I wanted to show you guys something I got from my wife for my birthday a few months ago. Just arrived this month, and I can't wait to show you. Man, check it out, check it out, check it out. The 22 inch Blackstone Portable Flat Iron Grill. Can't wait to take this bad boy on the show, go somewhere remote and do a cook for everybody. And someday we will get that put up soon. But for now, I just wanted to say, Thank you to my wife, getting me the Blackstone 22. Now I'm gonna go cook some dinner for my family. Thank you. Let's check the temp of the griddle. 400, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and lay the steak down and get that started. And then we'll also get the veggie started as well. We're gonna be using some sesame seed oil today. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's organic, so hopefully you know it's better for you. I think they have a pretty good bed of oil. Coat the area you want to cook your steaks. And let's, uh, let's get started. Now we're going to let these steaks go for a little bit, not too long, because we're going to actually pull them, because we don't want to overcook them, because we're going to actually re-enter these back onto the griddle with the veggies. But we'll get a good little sear going, and uh, from there we'll pull them, and then we'll uh, mix everything up together. So I'll let these go for a little bit, kind of toss them around, and then we're going to get started with the vegetables. and. I got those going to be on low heat. I'm just going to let them kind of warm up and start to cook. We want them a little bit of al dente. I'll add a little bit of water to, to kind of give them some steam. Uh, and then we're going to combine everything and finish it off with the sauce. Let's let this go for a little bit and we'll be right back. It's been about two minutes and I just want to kind of take a look and see how the steaks look. Well, there you go. See that nice bark you got going? We're gonna go ahead and toss these 
let them go for a couple more minutes, and then I'm gonna pull them, and we're gonna start with the veggies. So once I get these tossed and turned over, we're gonna go ahead and lay the veggies down and get those started. Starting to like to see, start, I like what I'm seeing here, folks. So we'll let this go for a little bit, and then I'm going to pull these, pull them aside, and then we're going to start right now with the, uh, with the veggies. A little bit of oil. Ah, that hurt. See, that's what happens when you uh, don't pay attention. You can see I just got splattered. All right, we'll let this go for a little bit. And then uh, we'll come right back to it. I'm going to pull the steaks, let them rest for a little bit. You don't want to overcook them. Remember, I cut these, so they're going to cook quickly. And we're just going to continue to get the vegetables somewhat cooked. I'm going to heat down a little bit. Then I'm going to dome them, add some water, and steam them. That oh, looks delicious. Okay, let's do some steaming. Okay, we'll check this out in a little bit and we'll be right back. Veggies are done. We're going to add the meat. Actually, let's bring the camera right here. Let's just readjust this. On the fly, that's how we do it here. Let's go ahead and add our meat back to this and then we're going to add our sauce. Now, I did turn the burners down a little bit. But uh, I'm going to turn the middle ones up and keep the outside burners down. Let's go ahead and add our meat back. Make sure you get all that juice and flavor in there. And just give it a good toss. Oh, folks, this smells so good. I can smell all those ingredients in there, the garlic, the ginger. Soy sauce, well, soy sauce is coming next, but all the ingredients that I mixed in with the meat, I can smell it all. Garlic, ginger, cornstarch, it's gonna be good. Let's to all this. I got the burners right now on low, because I don't want to overcook anything, especially the meat. I want it to be as tender as possible without overcooking it. So I turned them down. looks amazing. Now let's add our sauce. So this sauce is soy sauce, garlic, ginger, and brown sugar. Oh, I can smell the ginger already. And that's what we're looking for is that bubbling. 
We're just going to let this sauce, let this stuff soak in the sauce for a little bit. Let it thicken up. The brown sugar is going to give it some amazing flavor. And I'm not even going to wait. I'm gonna, when I pull this, I'm just going to do a taste test in front of you right now. Okay, we're going to let this go for a little bit. And I'm going to add more sauce. And we're just going to let this continue to do its thing. Jasmine rice, this, can't get much better. Okay, we're gonna let this go for a little bit and then uh, next time you see me, I'm gonna be doing a taste test right out here outside after I pull everything, so stay tuned. Okay, I just wanted to show you, you see that bubbling? That's what we're looking for. That's that sugar that's starting to finally sink into the, to the veggies and the steak. So this is done, folks. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to try this. So let's just get this plated up. I'm going to get every bit of the juices that are on this griddle, make sure they're in this dish. All right, there you have it. Beef and veggie stir fry. Done on the griddle. 30 minutes to prep, 15 minutes to cook, and even Buddy's ready for something. All right, let's do a taste test. So I'm ready to do my taste test. I can't wait to try this. Um, we're gonna start with the steak first, and then I'll grab some veggies. But uh, what I'm looking for is, is do I get the flavor of the brown sugar, the garlic, the uh, ginger? And I did ginger not from a paste. I actually grinded ginger into this meal. And um, the brown, like, um, and the soy sauce. So let's do a taste test. That is delicious. But now we gotta do a veggie, right? Okay. So, the corn needed to cook a little bit longer. So I should've actually just steamed that by itself. But it still has amazing flavor. Hey, thank you guys for checking out my channel. And again, I do Appreciate all the support I've gotten in the last few months from new subscribers chiming in and subscribing to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, this is how I always sign off. Let me do the grilling and you do the chilling and I'll catch you again on the next cook. And I promise there will be another cook coming as well. I just wanted to get something out pretty simple and easy for you to do. I think your family are gonna love it. So, hey everybody, thanks again for watching my channel and we'll catch you soon.